Hi artists, how are you? So it's a hot day today and I'm wondering how your summer is going. Is it wonderful? Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. I get to swim every day uh, because I have a pool in the back yard and I'm just loving it. I love to swim and that is my exercise for the day. Okay, now today I want to talk about honoring our creativity and our gift as artists and basically remembering why being an artist is our destiny. All right. Okay. So I have a question for you. There is like, I think there is nothing quite like being able to visualize something in your head and then make it into reality and seeing it blossom onto canvas. Am I not right? Isn't that just the most wonderful feeling? Because you just feel like, you know, you just feel closer to our creator when you are creating work as well, because it's a wonderful feeling to be able to visualize something and seeing it coming to reality. And I love being an artist. Now, if we haven't met yet, my name is Ting. I'm an artist for the past 20 years, over 20 years, actually. And I'm also an art business coach. OK, now I would like to talk about our genius zone. OK. I love creating work. The reason why I love creating work is because I love the feeling it gives you. It gives you this wonderful natural high. And when you're creative creating work, you've been very intuitive. You're looking at everything with just basically with your intuition. And as you go, you're solving problems intuitively. And as you progress into your work, the more you see how it transforms. And I love that feeling when the work is going exceptionally well, isn't it? It's just a wonderful feeling. You just feel like, wow, the world is just amazing. You're amazing. Uh, you feel like, you know, everything is in rose colors. And it, you just get this natural high that you can't wait to do more of it. But on the other hand, if your work is not going so well, you feel frustrated. And that's when I actually discovered the Frida Kahlo in me or the Van Gogh in me, you know, that I'm upset, I get temperamental and I get, you know, bad tempered or I just feel so emotional. And I remember when, you know, when the projects are not working well, like, don't talk to me. I get into this really bad mood. But the thing is, no matter if we're creating amazing work or bad work and then we're trying to solve the problems, that is the wonderful thing about it, is that the more you create work, the more you learn how to be a good and strong artist. And when you become a better artist, you just feel like you love the craft even more so. Because when you learn how to solve problems with your painting, you'll go, oh my goodness, yes, I did learn that. Now I learned that two paintings ago. I know exactly what to do. And that's an incredible feeling, isn't it? Now, I know that it's... You know, I know that it's not easy to be an artist. I know that because I've been an artist for over 20 years. So I know exactly how that feels. And I know the challenges that go through. But the thing with, you know, being an artist, the complexity of a craft is what makes it so addictive because we are addicted to challenging ourselves. We're addicted to learning new techniques. We're, we're addicted to basically solving problems because it's such a, it's, it just makes you feel so good because I think it's because it's your gift, right? Not everybody's given the gift to create artwork. So if you've been given a gift to create work, artwork, you've got to do it, all right? Now, I also know that, you know, when we were younger and when we were in school, it's very different for us because we're artists and we're, you know, our mind works differently. We're creative people. And I know that I was always the last one that's getting picked for dodgeball. And I know I wasn't good with math and English. I know all of that made me feel very inadequate, right? I'm not sure if you were the last one that got picked for dodgeball, but that is not a good feeling. And I'm pretty sure that has been banned in school because it's not good for people's confidence, okay? But you know what? Being an artist, you don't need to be good at dodgeball. And being an artist, you don't need to be good at chemistry or math, right? So that's the whole thing. You know, don't let those kind of things like your past to make you feel, you know, lack of confidence in yourself. And I hope that is not stopping you from making your art into a business because that would be so harmful. Remember, artists, we're given a gift. Not everybody has it. OK, remember when we're in school, 
our art is being put in the background as, as if it doesn't happen. You know, as if it's not important at all. Meanwhile, it is so important for the world. It is so important for us to create work and beautify the world and share it. Okay? So remember that. You've got to drive your confidence. You've got to have change your frame of mind that it is important. What you do is essential. What you do is vital to the world because we all need beautiful art to make our life feel better. Why, you know, when you go into the house, what do you really notice? You notice the art that's on the wall, right? If there's beautiful art, you are magnetized toward it. That's why people want art in their home because it makes their house into homes. And that's as simple as that, okay? So I don't want you to make, you know, I don't want you to feel like because you don't have enough confidence that you don't want to turn your art into business. No, you should think about it and reframe your frame of mind and say, you know what? If I want to create artwork, I'm going to create a lot of artwork. Because if you want to make it into business, you do have to create a lot of artwork. That means you have to create 30 artwork, at least 30 artwork a year. Okay? Don't let that intimidate you either. Don't think, oh, you know, if I become an artist, I will feel very uninspired because I'm pressured to create work. Or if I become an artist, I, I feel like, you know, I, I would disappoint myself. Don't feel that way, folks. Because the thing is, if you think that way, of course, nothing good is going to happen from that thought, right? So you have to reframe it. You have to think, oh, I can't wait to create lots of work this year. It's amazing. I can't wait to be inspired. That's going to inspire me because that is a challenge, right? So if you reframe it's different. When I decide to make my art into business, it's because I really dislike my other job. It was very uninspiring. I couldn't do it anymore. And I just love creating art. And I want to do it every single day. And so I reframe my thoughts. And I decided that I'm going to be more strategic. And you know what? It's not that difficult. Okay? It's not that difficult to be strategic. And the good thing about when you turn your art into business is that you will start learning how to dream, how to plan, and how to execute. And that is huge. And, you know, I always say this, you know, building a business is not just building a business. It's about the expansion of your mind. When your mind is expanded, it's, it just makes you feel that everything is possible. Once your mind is expanded, you'll find that every dream that you have in your life, you will be able to execute it because you have learned exactly how to do it, okay? Because it is training your mind to think a certain way. Now, let me just look at my notes to make sure I didn't forget anything because I really want you to, you know, to basically have trust in yourself, have faith that you can make your art into business because it's important that we live our destiny, okay? So, now, if you've decided that this is something that you would like to do, I do have a free workshop coming up soon. You can sign up for my waiting list and be the first to know once the door is open. And I will teach you three secrets and how to create a sellable art collection year after year. Now, I create sellable art collection every year and I'm not talking about two three artworks I'm talking about 30 artworks a year and the reason why I'm able to do that because I have a formula that works really well and I want to teach you how to do so okay so click onto the link and click and get into my waiting list and I'll let you know as soon as the door is open okay thank you so much for being with me and I shall see you next Thursday